Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. For starters, thanks for getting me up to the thousand subscriber mark. It means a lot, and it really helps out this channel because, you know, I want to keep producing some content for you guys and tell you about plants, at least what I think I know about plants. You know, today I can tell you what I do think, and that's going to be, it's a busy, busy day. Because we are doing plant chores. is I'm not even quite sure what plant chores we have to do because I have been a neglectful plant dad this past week but you know that all happens to us plant parents from time to time but I will say uh, plant chores are the most interesting because that allows you to check in on your plants and it's always just kind of good to get in that habit you know so I believe I do know this one thing is that this Lord of Ghost needs a little watering it's funny, I think, and I wonder, um, for other people who make plant blog videos, these vlogs, if the worst and most stressful day is not really plant care, but in general, it's just filming day. Simply because you know that you're going to have to showcase your home as well in the filming, and uh, the last thing you want to have to deal with is a messy home, which mine is right now, by the way. So my apologies in advance, but we are going to get through this regardless because any plant parent who says that their home is not messy when they're doing plant chores is a liar. <laughs> I am dreading the fact that part of the plant chores involves potting up some propagation. So I know that, that is going to be a whole ordeal here in my kitchen on the kitchen floor. But yeah, so we're gonna start with watering the Florida ghost because like plants, it likes its water. And this is a beauty. Um, I've told you guys about this before. In fact, I've done videos on it where its leaves come out this ghostly white, hence its name. And uh, they are stunning. And it took about a year and a half for me to get its leaves to actually uh, come out white. They were just coming out green, which I wasn't giving it the proper lighting or um, proper watering or all the above and everything else in between. But you know what? That happens. So uh, now that this is watered, we are going to... Oh! We're going to just get to it and start potting up some of those cuttings. Let's do it. First things first, we are going to lay down our area with some trash bags because regardless of how neat and tidy you try to keep while well, potting things up, the fact is these other soil and potting mix and orchid bark and all this stuff just everywhere. Now that I'm done whining, we can move on with the process. Uh, so I had all of these Burl Marks fantasy, not fantasy, where am I going with this? Burl Marks, variegated Burl Marks cuttings that I had started water propagating, oh gosh, a couple weeks ago. Um, they rooted really fast as I have found that with most of the Burl Marks uh, kind of species, or yeah, I guess it would be species, yeah, species, um, that they do, tend to root pretty quickly, so I'm grateful for that. Um, and I have a bunch of cuttings that I took from my mother plant that we're going to pot up, and I believe I'm going to do two or maybe three. I still have some that are, are propagating, so um, those will come in and be pretty lovely. But as you can see, what I love about this plant is kind of the uh, variegated colors in it, hence its name, um, found by the, discovered by the landscape and plant aficionado uh, burly marks and um, they're really pretty some of them like this one this cutting wasn't variegated so that's fine though it still has a chance at variegating later on but some of them have really profound like uh, yellow splashes in them which I absolutely love so we are going to take I believe these two cuttings here and we are going to put them in this pot you could see really how well <laughs> those roots came in just over the past couple of weeks that's pretty darn good um and they look really strong and healthy they're thick roots which is what we want to see i'm just going to put some rooting hormone on them as is tradition if you've watched my videos before <laughs> so this stuff really just kind of helps stimulate root growth and helps make the cutting very happy and healthy at least that's what it says on the you know marketing i'm gonna believe it actually i've had pretty good success with them um using this hormone powder uh in fact anytime i've done a plant that has not really had rooting hormone powder on it i find that i do not get um some good growth on new plants 
So, okay, I like this little pot. I was so excited because I found this and I'm like, oh, that kind of looks like a, a variegated Burley Marks. And so then I thought to myself, I will pot them up in that. And that's how exciting my life is, folks, you know? That's just how exciting it is. I'm also gonna take this other cutting here, and this is just a one um, leaf cutting, but I'm going to I'm wash off these roots really quickly. Ah! I'm gonna pot them up together because I feel that will look lovely. And who doesn't love lovely plants? Especially when they're propagations of your own. I don't know who I'm going to give this to yet, but this will be a gift. I've potted up a, a few um, burrow marks, variegated burrow marks um, cuttings before and have given them as gifts. And uh, I remember how much I wanted this plant. And it's actually one of my favorites because philodendron, one being the genus, I love philodendron. And two, it's super easy to care for. Um, the interesting thing about this plant is that if you don't give it like proper sunlight or just kind of like little things that it needs, then the variegation will revert and it'll go back to um, just its kind of normal green type color, which honestly for the original Burl, Burl Marks plant being the regular green color, I have to say it, it's so beautiful and it's uh, hands down, the regular one is one of my favorite plants too. So regardless, either way, you, you can't go wrong with this plant. It's so simple to care for. It's not a very needy plant at all. And what do we say about needy plants? Needy plants are needy. <laughs> and I have a bunch of those. And uh, I will say though, the needy ones also do put out their own challenges, which I absolutely adore about them. Um, because then you learn more about plants and plant growth and how different plants do their thing. As I say, like a broken record. I'll tell you, um, if you ever meet me in person and you start talking to me about plants, it could be, unless you are like a real plant lover, it can be pretty awful and traumatic. I literally go on and on for hours and my friends who love plants and I start talking about plants, sometimes they get just like, all right, Kevin, you need to calm down. And I understand. I understand. I get a little excited about plants. I like them. They keep me, they keep me on my toes. Literally, I never get a chance to rest. <laughs> so look at this. We have one brand new variegated bro marks plant. I love the colors of this pot. I got really big into like um, pots and just kind of the creative aspect of that because I think it adds to the decor with plants. So now that we have this one, we are going to, uh, blah, 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 blah. what is that thing that plants need? Water. We're going to water it. <laughs> What a time to be alive. That plant has been watered. I'm gonna give it a little bit more top coating soil. Blah, blah, blah. And we have one brand spanking new plant. Just waiting for that water to come out of its drainage. We'll leave it be, we won't bother it. We have a couple more to do here. A couple more to do. Which one do I want to put this pot in? We're going to go with, oh, I'm being indecisive again. See, this is my problem, one of many. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna do, I think we're gonna do this one by itself. It looks like a loner. And it's also the one that didn't, that's not variegated, so it will have to defend for itself. So we're just going to dip it in more of this rooting hormone stuff. And I like to make sure that those roots are coated in it. Uh, like I've referred to in the past as a very professional uh, method, the shake and bake method, as uh, we will call it. This is your pork chop, and that is your shake and bake coating. So now that we have it, we're going to place it in as we normally would. And then we are just going to fill 
this baby up. I'm getting it all over my nice sweater. Here I was trying to dress nice today. What a fool, you know? This is not the only time today that I will call myself a fool, probably. Um, what also I love about potting stuff up is that you get to mess around with different soil mixtures or potting mixtures. Potting medium is probably the correct way of referring to them. And this one I got from Reroot in Denver. And it's a very good mix for especially Hoyas and Aeroids like Philodendron. Um, and inside of it is a lovely blend of peat moss, cocoa choir nuggets, pine bark, horticultural charcoal, perlite, and worm castings. Worm castings are so beneficial to uh, plants. They just love it. They soak up that those nutrients from, you know, worm feces, basically. You know, it is their thing. So there we go. All right, we have a second plant. Because I was silly and forgot to hit the record button, uh, you didn't get to capture the potting of the third little plant that we have here, which is now complete and means that we can move on to some other plant chores. And those other fun plant chores include and are also limited to uh, potting up some other cuttings. Yay! We have among us uh, some philodendron dark lord cuttings that we need to pot up especially i want to get to this one because its leaf has gotten really funky or what i might do is put it in a different um water vessel that's what i'm gonna do see i'm actually thinking today <laughs> let's see we have one down here this one is definitely ready to go and uh, I believe the other ones are next to my desk. Why, by golly, they are. I actually knew something for once. That is, that is insane. And they are up here. And these ones actually rooted really nicely, which I was not expecting because this area doesn't get much sunlight at all. How's that one doing? That one can still go a little ways, yeah. Okay, so we have three that we are going to bring over here to the kitchen where we'll continue making a mess of pretty much everything. Now that we are back, we shall continue making said mess, you know, because that's just how plants go. Okay, so we have our cuttings and we're gonna use this pot here. I also just kind of randomly, I do love like white pots just because I think they're so, I don't know, nice. Um, but I also really appreciate a good terracotta pot. One, because I know that it's also very good for the plant. They love them because they will dry out pretty quickly, unlike a ceramic or a plastic, you know, where the moisture after you're done um, watering them can be stuck in there for a little bit. So uh, I believe we're gonna start with this guy. By gosh, those are some lovely roots. I'm gonna wash them off though, just to be extra safe. I don't know what the non-washing of roots, how that would help protect them, but in my mind, I'm sure that it's concocting a, a whole summary or plot to it. Let's, let's see here. This is what happens when I'm not around people either, is that I just tend to talk and talk and talk. But then when I am around people, sometimes I'll either continue talking or I just get very quiet. I'm an introvert at heart. Well, like an introvert extrovert. You know, you know those people. That's me. And welcome to Plants with Kevin. <laughs> okay. We're getting this baby coated chicken bake style. And we shall put our first cutting in like so. Oh, I don't really want to touch its roots because I don't want to harm it. But if I don't, then I could harm it by not having its roots all around. The decisions are tough. <laughs> this is such a struggle. This is how it was when I was like pipe potting up those gigantium cuttings the other day too. Okay, we'll come back to that. Let's get these guys coated. I'm just curious and I'm not going to wash off the roots to this one to see if that, there is any qualms that this plant may bring up as it grows into its own separate little plant, hopefully large plant. This was uh, from a giant cutting that, or giant mother plant that I have of uh, philodendron dark lord, but I decided to cut it all up. One, I needed the space, and two, um, I like to play mad scientist from time to time. <laughs> um, I hope that you guys find my jokes funny because 
really nobody else's does. So I just can use the support, guys. Okay, we're gonna try to get these babies, these roots down in here. I wish that there was like something like a little root clip where I could just kind of flip it down below without having to worry about it popping up from the soil. I'm just gonna put some in there to help weigh it down. Ah, see, now I'm thinking. I'm not really thinking, I'm just hoping. No, and the hope ran out as they popped back up. Ah. Eventually, eventually guys, once I hit the 2,000 subscriber mark, <laughs> or if I get a, you know, pretty decent uh, lottery uh, win, I'm gonna buy multiple cameras so it's not just focused on uh, the upper part here and you can see like kind of everything that's going on with the roots and with the plant itself that way it will be more visually appealing than having to stare at me for what could be an awkward 10 minutes <laughs> but we now have a philodendron dark lord potted up and of course as is tradition and necessary we're gonna get some water <laughs> so it can be all nice and healthy uh one thing i really need to do and that a lot of you folks have asked me about is um watering my plants and how long it takes well it's really hard to kind of figure that out just because they're all on like their own schedule and there is no real schedule i just kind of go off of their vibes um, to see who needs water like i'll know when um, I walk in and I see one of them looking all sad, but I also know like beforehand what the signs are. So it kind of just varies and it doesn't feel like a whole lot of work to me just because um, I'm so used to it now. It's like part of my daily routine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a time lapse, I believe. So you can see as I water my wall plants in the living room, just to give you an idea. See, not too tough at all. Literally only takes about three seconds. Well, 10 minutes, I would say. But hey, that's it for today's plant chores because I really don't feel like doing any more. Mm, just gonna be honest. You know, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe and like my YouTube channel. All you have to do is hit that simple little button in the corner below. Really helps out a lot. Again, thank you for helping me get to a thousand subscribers already. And I look forward to the next video. Zuh.